Hello, I am going to talk to you today in this video about something that is near and dear to my heart and it's about the real reason why you aren't motivated and I'm looking down at my notes just to see I have four things that I want to shift for four things that I want to share with you about the real reason why you aren't motivated so that you can check yourself as you move into the new year. Um, and start to want to set goals or accomplish new heights for yourself for 2021. So the first real reason why you aren't motivated is because you don't have a clear picture of what you want. You can say that you want to get in shape, that you want to be in love, that you want to get good grades, that you want to make six figures, that you want to start a side hustle. You can say all of the things. You may even say that you want a certain career, maybe because it brings you money or prestige or certificates on the wall, or it maybe you feel like it'll give you a sense of direction. However, nine times out of 10, if you are not sure of what you want in life, you are usually chasing goals that you are conditioned to believe that you want. For instance, Maybe you think you want marriage because that's what society likes us to believe or children because that's what society likes us to believe or six figures or the house and blah, 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 and blah, blah, blah. But if at the end of the day, you really got some quiet time and some reflection and did some deep deconditioning, you might find that you really don't want to be married or you really don't want to have kids or you like helping people and you really don't care if you have a nice car or a nice house. You just want to do meaningful work that people are, um, that give you meaning and purpose. So you have to really know who you are and what you want out of life in order to feel motivated towards some of the goals that you set for yourself. If you set goals based on conditioning or expectations of others or society, what you're going to find is they don't really speak to your heart. And when things don't speak to your heart, it's very hard to feel inspired and motivated to do some of the things that you want to do. And so number one, you need to have a clear picture of what it is that you want, or at least have a picture of the, the direction that you may want to go. You don't have to have it all figured out. So the number two reason that I put is that you reward effort instead of success. So let me break this down to you. <laughs> There's this culture now that is like, um, let's just back it up. So let's look at sports. For instance, sports is an easy example. You're not going to win a trophy if you haven't won the game, right? You know, in new age, everybody's getting a trophy and we all know how ridiculous that is. Truly, really, the winners get the trophies. So if you are wanting to win in your own personal life, and remember that is all dependent upon the goals and the vision that you set for yourself, then you're going to have to stop rewarding yourself for effort. You don't get an A for effort. Effort is good. You pat yourself on the back, but if you have as your goal or, oh, you know what? I, I, I ate good four days out of five, um, even though I said I was gonna eat good five days. That's not a trophy, boo. That's still effort. You still gotta keep going. You gotta meet the five out of five to get the reward. And what happens on a scientific level is you start to reward yourself for things that you truly didn't earn. And you start to release chemicals in your body through the rewards that you didn't earn and it makes it again less likely in a more simplistic way for you to work harder to actually achieve the goals. So learn how to stop rewarding your effort and start rewarding your success. And this is different than people that break a big goal down into little goals and they actually hit the little goals. I'm saying if you don't even hit the little goals, stop rewarding yourself. People are always saying, I don't wanna to be too hard on myself. I don't wanna put that pressure on myself. But if you wanna have a good life, if you wanna have a better life, then you are gonna to have to get out of your comfort zone. You are gonna to have to put a little bit of pressure on yourself to move out of a space of comfort, to move toward new higher heights, to move out of a cycle of inertia. All that is going to require pressure. So 
Start to reward your successes, not your efforts. The number three thing is don't focus on what you can't control. You, I, (laughs) a lot of us spend a lot of our time spinning our wheels on things that don't matter. And you don't have a finite amount of energy available to you at all times of the day to do whatever you want. And you don't have all hours of the day to do whatever you want. So you really are gonna have to learn how to focus on what you can control. Not only does that make you powerful, think of a laser that's just going straight in one direction versus uh, if it was spread out with a diffuser and all the light was spread out, you got this super powerful red laser going forward um, at light speed with focus and intention, or you have this diffused lighter pink ray that's all over the place. You're less powerful, you're less impactful, you're less intentional, and when you focus on things that you can't control you're wasting all that energy anyway so not only are you less powerful but you also are depleting yourself and not even you know accomplishing anything that's value added so you need to learn how to bring that energy back in know what you want and why you want it and focus that energy with intention toward what it is that you want and what you can control in your life and learn how to let things go that don't And then the last thing that I want to leave you with, um, the real reason why you may not be motivated is because you live life blindly. There are so many people that think that it's a badge of honor. And I used to do this and I got called out on it, maybe like in my early 30s because I had a good life. But um, I would just kind of go with the flow. Oh, something comes up. I'll react to it when it comes. That didn't mean that I wasn't living... um, a good life but what it did mean is that i wasn't using my power to create the life life would happen i would respond rather than i create the life that i want and live the life that i want there's a difference there and so you need to learn how to tap into your power of creation your god-given power of creation and stop living life so blindly and start living life with more intention focus and control if you can tackle those four things just start with those four easy things those are easy then you're gonna find that you're gonna be able to create more motivation in your life because the actions that you take and the vision that you decide to act upon will have more meaning and more purpose in your life and if you find that you struggle with this then I do have private coaching slots open and available right now for you to get started right away. So private coaching is gonna help you to develop a clear picture and a clear vision because I have a framework that takes you through steps to get to know yourself better on a more authentic level. And from there, you can start to create goals and create a vision for yourself where you're not living life blindly, but you're doing that creation of the life that you wanna live and you watch it unfold before your eyes and you learn how to work with success and reward success and stop um, thinking that achieving goals has to be hard, but at the same time, not pushing yourself out of the comfort zone and toward a higher level of success. And I also teach you through that framework how to focus on the things that you can control so you are more powerful and you are stronger, which in turn is a cycle that keeps you motivated, keeps you moving forward, um, keeps you from wasting energy and having stress because you're focused on your thing that means something to you and has purpose and if you want help with that then you can go to yashikasintuition.com forward slash coaching and I would be happy to work with you privately and help you figure it all out all right I will see you in the next video